Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, back for another mom vlog. And today I am with my mom in the mom vlog, Chef Tony. We are actually heading to the Asian market right now. It's like a, it's brand new, right? Mm -hmm. they, they just opened it. I don't think I've ever even been to an Asian market, like period, in my life. And I haven't been to this one yet. So we're going to go check it out because today we're actually going grocery shopping because I'm trying to meal prep for the upcoming week. I've been struggling with my eating, with my meals, with staying on track, with my restricted diet, which honestly I feel like isn't as restricted anymore, but it's still pretty restricted and I still need to be careful about like what I'm eating. And also because y'all know my whole weight gain journey, which completely hasn't gone anywhere. I have to make sure that I'm eating enough calories and stuff throughout the day so I think meal prepping is just like the best thing for me and my mom in case you don't know she used to be a personal chef which uh, you want to tell them what that is I cook people's meals for a week <laughs> but the way you would do it is you would go to people's house as well right so usually you would go to people's houses you would cook like large quantities so it's like meal prep right basically it is, is basically it is. meal prep and then they would keep it in their freezer or refrigerator and then they would be able to just heat it up throughout the week. So that's literally like what she did for a living was like meal prepping. So she knows how to do it really efficiently. Um, so she was helping me with that for a while, but we kind of fell off with the plan and I've just been eating nothing but Uber Eats for the past month. <laughs> so yeah, we're going grocery shopping to get the ingredients, see what I like, see what type of stuff we can even make. And uh, yeah, we're gonna meal prep. So we just pulled up to H Mart Groceries and More, which I don't know what kind of Asian. Is it it's just like Asian? It's really popular or- I mean like, is it like Chinese, Korean, Vietnamese? I don't know. Or all of them. I don't know the differences between all these different types of rice. Extra fancy medium grain, extra long grain, brown rice, sweet rice. Chestnut, water chestnuts. Are these chestnuts or water chestnuts? It just says chestnuts. They look like giant acorns, which I guess, I mean, it's a nut. <laughs> they had um, dragon fruit over there. And what's this big thing called? Oh, durian. Oh, <laughs> If you guys watch Good Mythical Morning. That's that stinky, really super. Yeah, thing. I know. They've got all the cool fruits and stuff in here. Well, you come in here and buy fruits and vegetables. I mean, yeah, Asian people <laughs> eat all types of. It's not just the, the um, international stuff. Not to be racist or anything, but Asian people. <laughs> These like tiny little mushrooms. Yeah, it says. Oh my gosh. They've got a lot more different types of mushrooms in here. A whole turmeric. I've never seen what it looks like in its raw state. It's really big in here. Do you like eggplant? No. Oh, do you like okra? Not like, like I usually fix it, but there was this recipe in the paper yesterday with like slices and you saute it with shallots. I like fried okra. Like all of these vegetables in here, what would you think? Um, lettuce? Oh, they got the good looking uh, plantains. Oh, they call it, these little ones are like Thai bananas. I feel like that's probably like a plantain, but then they have the big, they call it a burro banana. Is that the same thing? It doesn't look exactly the same, but similar. Oh, but then over here, they have green plantains and baby bananas. What is the difference? And what is this? Lotus roots. Oh, I've heard of that. They slice it up this way and make like little chips out of it. Oh. You wanna try some of that? I don't know what it tastes like. <laughs> you can get one and try it. Have to Google how to make it. Never seen this in person either. Sugar cane. I don't know what this is. Nagaimo. I'm like trying to say stuff in, in a Spanish accent. 
<laughs> That's the only accent I know. Oh, they have cute, cute um, kitchen things. Everything's in my color scheme. I want one of these. They got some good stuff in here. That I feel like you would normally have to order online. I know. Like all these little things. Like I could use these for um, Zaya's lunch and stuff. Oh, I should get this for Zaya's lunch. And they've got the fish fish market. Look in the fish tanks. Ooh, sushi galore. Oh, I bet the sushi is pretty Man. good here. That's not your everyday. They just don't have California rolls. This is they like everything. Well, these aren't sushi rolls. It's, it's sushi. just a uh, different slices of different fish. Oh. And they've got like the fish heads and stuff down here. It's a good price for shrimp and it smells really fresh. Tiger shrimp, regular shrimp, wild pink. These are huge. That's huge. This is what Are these big or does it shrink up a lot when you... <laughs> no, you just buy the smaller oh. and slice it for the calamari. I don't know what you do with that. Are you kidding me? See that's $6.99 a pound? It's $25.99 a pound. What? It's $25.99 a pound for... <laughs> this is outrageous. Is that real? Sea bass for six ninety nine. How can it be fake sea bass? Well, I mean, sea bass is not really a fish. The fish is actually called a Patagonian toothfish. Fun fact, guys. But they call it sea bass. But if this is sea bass, That's of course you know it's got the. It's, it's fully, it's off. fully intact. Like it's not I mean, butchered at I, all. I don't know what to do with that. Yeah, that's why, because you have to butcher it yourself. I think. And probably you have to buy the whole fish. And then ask them to cut it for so you. The fish. I have to ask. Go ahead. No. We don't want the head. <laughs> <laughs> what are you worried about? I don't know. Just that it may not be what I think it is, and it may be fine. It's fish. <laughs> it may not be like the. Sea bass, I think. To all the vegans and vegetarians, I'm sorry. Avert your eyes. Oh, what the heck? I thought they just sliced the whole, like, why don't they just. But I mean, like, just slice the whole skin off. No. Mmm, appetizing. Oh, they got lobster back there. That's pretty and good. I don't know what those other things are. Oh, tilapia. Mm -hmm. Just cutting the head off. Oop, there it goes. And now wash it. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I like you it. like it boiled? You like it boiled? Is that what you're saying? Just boil it in hot water? Yeah, boil it in hot water. Instead of fried? You don't like but it fried? I like to bread it with the panko crumbs. Maybe panko and... Uh, okay, wait. Okay, wait. <laughs> Just to try my time. That's good. Mm. Yeah. I have grilled octopus. That's what I'm saying. Do you know how... I, if you've eaten it and made it, it's two different things. I have never made it. Okay, so that's what I was asking. Never. Because you're gonna, you can't, with seafood, you gotta know the, the preparation. You can't just I can Google pretend it. like. I can look on Pinterest. That's what I'm saying. You can research it, I'm sure, but I wouldn't just go into it like, oh, I'm just gonna throw breading on it and fry it. Like, you might have something you have to take out the, the middle or something. Hey, little Thank you. Thank you. They gotta escape. These are the roaches of the sea, and y'all just love them. What is this? Pork ears. Oh, I've cooked those before. <laughs> You're disgusting. Oh, yeah. But you have to. Oh, no, I don't wanna eat it raw. I think this is how you eat it. It already has hot sauce. 
Tomato candy. Mmm. Oh, they've got the different types of Kit Kats. All the different, like, matcha flavors. Mmm. Oh, matcha green tea Kit Kat. Strawberry. Mm. I think this one's like coffee. I can't do my grocery shopping here because they don't have Barbie snacks. They only have the Dora fruit snacks. Oh well, that wouldn't do. In the western section. I don't know what's happening. Oh, it stopped. Did it stop? Is there a fire? This is all we're getting. Right. And oh yeah, and the fish. So I did end up getting this. Um, I think it's called Ramune. Ramune sodas and this is a peach flavor it's the one where you like pop the thing down into the thing <laughs> i don't know i just got this just to get something cute take this and pop the little glass ball down in there and oops and then the glass ball makes the fizzy stuff it doesn't make it it just opens the bottle <laughs> So now to really get the rest of our shopping done, we just pulled up to Whole Foods, but this is the Whole Foods 365, which is also kind of a newer um, thing that opened around here. So it's like a little mini Whole Foods. Um, I mean, it still has a pretty good selection. It still has like the little food buffet bar thingy and like most of the stuff that you would be looking for, but it's just like a smaller version of Whole Foods. So for your meal prep, you need to get three proteins and at least three vegetables and a couple of starches, although I think you probably already have the starch, you probably already have rice and like gluten-free pasta. They've got a little mochi bar over here. I've actually never had mochi. I like this little convenient shrimp thing. It's not that expensive, it's ten dollars a pound. Not bad, because especially because it's already clean and it's fresh. $17 That's probably like super organic farm. Yeah, it is. No, we don't need those. You got a pound of shrimp, two fillets of salmon, and it's two really gonna chicken four breast. servings for you of each of those. It, is, it can be a four serving for each of those. Is that lunch? This is my lunch. That's good. A um, cultural extravaganza. Little. All right, well, we better hurry because we got to pick up Zaya soon. So I think everything else we can just get at HEB. Just finished up all the grocery shopping. We went to the Asian market, Whole Foods 365, and then we just are leaving HEB, which is just like my regular grocery store. Um, which a lot of you, I saw a comment that said I that they thought I was saying A. G B this whole time and they're like I never heard of that store but H E B is a um Texas based well known and loved Texas based grocery store. Most people who live in Texas prefer H E B I would say. And fun fact, it stands for H E butt B U T T <laughs> the is the man's name is Howard Edward butts or something like that. But yeah, we're just leaving H-E-B. We got all the ingredients now and we are just making it in the nick of time to go pick up Zaya from preschool. And then we're gonna head back to my mom's house to do the meal prep just cause her kitchen is better than mine. And we're just gonna spread out in there and do all the meal prep with everything. And hopefully Zaya will take a nap while we do that. But I have a feeling that she won't. At my mom's house now, and we got Zaya in the house. Hi, Boo Boo. Just crusty and dusty from school. It's literally their motto at her school. It's like, have learn, have fun, and get messy is their motto. And definitely every day she gets messy because they do a lot of outside play, they do a lot of crafts, they do a lot of just messy things. So if y'all ever wonder why she gets so dirty at school, it's not its not neglect, it's just fun. So today she's got something on her forehead, I don't even know. Jacket is dirty, pants are dirty. Her boots were dirty, that's why she wears rain boots to school. You having your after school snack? What are you eating? 
Grammy cut you up some apples? Leave Violet alone. She's just chilling. And Grammy says she doesn't feel so well. Okay, so quick little grocery haul of everything that we got. So we have the stuff from the Asian market over here. We got this, um, I already forgot, Lotus something? Lotus Root. Lotus Root. I've just seen snacks that are, like Asian snacks that are made out of this. Zaya is trying to show you her fruit snacks. You can't see her down here. As I said, this is my grocery haul. Got some free snacks. Wow. But yeah, I just seen like Asian snacks that are made out of these. I think I have no idea how to cook it, but we're gonna look it up and try to make something. Um, then we got some okra, just okra. And then um, my mom got her little bag of baby octopus and her chopped up sea bass that she is still skeptical if it's even really sea bass, which, I mean, I don't know, we'll see. She says she doesn't really even know how to cook octopus. She's just eaten it before and it was good. So we're gonna have to do a lot of research on how to cook these different things. But then from Whole Foods, we got some cilantro, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, broccoli, spinach, and some bell peppers, a red and a green one. And then for the protein or the meat, I'm not really eating a lot of like pork or red meat or just even a lot of meat in general. If I do eat meat, it's typically like just chicken. So we got two chicken breasts plus two things of salmon. Salmon is really kind of like the only fish that I really like, honestly. And then also some shrimp because that's pretty much the other seafood that I eat. And then from A to B, we just got some extra stuff. We got frozen corn, an onion, some baby, some baby carrots. This is um, orange marmalade for the salmon, like the sauce that goes on the salmon. And then two cans of black beans. <laughs> black beans, and that's it. I mean, other stuff, I mean, I'm sure there's a few other ingredients that we're just gonna use out of my mom kitchen, but that's pretty much it. And this should be, I mean, we're aiming for a, a full week of lunch and dinner, right? Okay. So like, well, you said it's really gonna be like eight, sir, wait, what did you say? Uh, it's probably gonna be at least eight to 10 servings. So. So yeah, that's everything that we bought. And if you guys wanna find out what we're gonna be making and how we're gonna do this meal prep and divide everything up, my mom said it's gonna be really simple and easy and she has some good little tips and tricks since she uses this for a living. So if you guys wanna see that, stay tuned for part two of this vlog. And yeah, for the comment of the day, mommy, would you like to make up the comment of the day? So catch me off guard, like that. <laughs> it can be simple. It doesn't have to be anything that crazy. Okay. Do you prefer white rice or brown rice? Lame. <laughs> How about we just ask you, do you meal prep? Do you like to meal prep? What do you typically meal prep? Tell me about your meal prep in the comments. Okay, my mom says that's a good one. Tell me about your meal prep. If you meal prep, do you want to learn how to meal prep? If you do, you should watch part two of this vlog. <laughs> Uh, comment that down below. Um, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in part two.